Hi everyone, it's me, Scott with Daily Departed Tours and unboxing because these things, these wonderful things showed up in my mailbox. So I'm very excited to share them with you. So tonight is my lovely Sunday night unboxing fabulous video and I'm going to turn up the lights and we're going to go for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so come along with me. This was a present from my friend Laura, Laura Messino, who has Architecture Tours LA. And she came to visit us this week and she gave me that lovely tiki magnet and this book of 50 Palm Springs Trailer Homes, which, what do you know? Scott and Troy, oh, too many years of happy desert living, Laura and Drew. So, fun book. Laura has written several books of her own on architecture, and she does her own spectacular tour of Los Angeles. It's amazing, like, several tours. So, um, so thank you, Laura. And this <laughs> nice person sent me this half person. Um, I get these things from this person um, every so often, and, uh, and this is an artist. And <laughs> this is a, a half person in felt. And I love this, and thank you. The things that show up in my inbox, in my post office, it's very interesting. So this is from my friend, uh, Neil Robertson, who uh, texted me, actually, or messaged me, and told me that uh, I should be expecting something from him. And he asked me my t-shirt size. I know what this is. This is cool, is what it is. This is uh, Cliff Booth, his uh, shirt from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is very cool, love it. Thank you, Neil. Neil, a very supportive, very kind person who showers me with gifts and we cannot say we don't appreciate gifts. I love this shirt, thank you very much, yeah. I like it very much. And I have that yellow knockoff Once Upon a Time in Hollywood shirt, too. And I could wear that underneath this, or this underneath that. So I'd be completely cosplaying. Cosplaying. See, I'm, I'm hip with the young kids. <laughs> I know what the cosplaying means. Thank you, Neil. You're very, very kind. Very, very kind. Uh, let's see. Don't know what this is. I have no idea. The return address is a Polish name, Dzinski. So I'm not sure. This could be. Oh. No worries. I buy t pony ponytail holders instead of rubber bands. Keep them in a jar and they add color and do not break easily. Okay. What's <laughs> this? Ooh. Look at that. Just a post it, not glued down. Open carefully. It says, Dear Scott, an aunt of mine who passed in 87, aged 93, had these in her possession. I have no idea who made them, how she came about to own them. Mystery. Are they designed with Jack Benny 39 violin angles? Okay, because Jack Benny's joke was always his age is 39. Hmm. Sorry, I'm ripping open the bag, but it just has to be done. <laughs> it's got to be done. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we've been painting. That's what's going on. Uh huh. Interesting. Or um, Jack Benny thirty nine. Anyway, do you enjoy do do enjoy these unique links? Watch your show. I thought you needed them. Sincerely, Katsy Dzinski. The candle sticker is from the thirties or forties. Thought you get a charge out of it. Likely a Denison sticker from their Christmas lines. Where's the sticker? Oh, it's in here. Okay. Den that's a Denim. K. 
candle stickers from the theaters that you get a charge of. Okay. So it's a cool, like a Christmas present, like a, a moist, you moisten it. A lot of people love that word, moist. <laughs> moisten it to put it on there. So these are very interesting. Well, okay. Um, Katsy, Katsy Dzinski, thank you very much for these. 39, that sounds familiar. Like we've seen stuff like that in a thrift store or something with 39, like like glasses, glassware or something like that. But uh, but thank you very much. Very interesting, unusual. Um, not expecting that today. So I will explore that further with this rubber band and keep it all safe. And they don't break. Thank you, Katsy. All right, uh, let's see what this is. This is from Michael Augustine Reed. I know Michael. He's a Facebook friend, I think. Yes, he is a Facebook friend. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Patrick. Uh, there we go. Patrick sent these. And they're meant for envelopes, not for you know, major things. But Ooh, multiple, th oh my gosh, multiple things, okay. Roman Polanski, what, Mary? Roman Polanski autograph? Johnny, Johnny, Sheffield? <laughs> it's not Johnny Sheffield. It looks like Johnny Sheffield got it in '83. Okay, and look at that—a Roman, Michael Reed, Roman Polanski. Wow. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Now I remember this now. Liz Renee. Liz top and bracelet. Liz Renee. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, gosh. I remember that, um, that you mentioned that this was going to be coming my way. Because, um, yeah, Liz Renee, who was, you know, the stripper, who was uh, in Desperate Living, who was... who very famously like walk naked down Hollywood Boulevard and this is her oh we can't show that but she was walking down Hollywood Boulevard naked and it was like a, a publicity stunt for her and and good for her oh and an autograph too I can show you this it's not yeah there's nothing Liz Renee wow so this is her top look at that oh this will be great in the museum her top and her bracelet. Thank you, Michael. Wow, I love this. There was another something too. What was that? Robert Bardo. That's the man who killed Rebecca Schaefer. And yeah, let's see what that was. Oh, it's not even open. Oh, it is open on the side. I don't, uh, I think so. I'll have to go through this myself later. Michael, thank you for this. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to divulge anything. Um, these are uh, Liz Renee, oh my, my God, and Polanski. Oh, okay, here's something else. Marie Prevost signed 1929 autograph. Yeah, <laughs> she was the winner. Who became the doggy center? center? Look at that. Wow. So. That's crazy. So this is the this is the one that's really autographed. That's insane. What a great bizarre to fact. These are all great bizarre to facts. Michael, you're very kind. Wow. These, these are nineteen twenty nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. 
Marie Prevost, who very famously Kenneth Anger lied and made up the story about her being eaten up by her pet dachshund um, in Hollywood, and she was nibbled on. She wasn't eaten. <laughs> Nib she was nibbled by her dachshund. I am really, I am taken aback and, and excitement with all of these things. Roman Polanski, Marie Prevost, and Liz Renee, all in one box. What is that? This is fabulous. Thank you very much. I love it, love it, love it. So the note with this says, Scott, here are a few things. A top and a bracelet that belonged to Liz Renee that I got from the Burlesque Hall of Fame in the mid 2000s. A letter I got from John Bardo and an autograph of Marie Prevost and Johnny Sheffield. Thought you would, these would go into your museum and collection. Sending the best to you. Michael Augustine Reed. Thank you, Michael. This is really I'm I'm completely uh, love this stuff. It's you're very generous, and you're right. They will go. This Liz Renee thing will go well with um, in the divine section at the museum. I like it very much. So thank you very very much. My lovely friend Kimberly, who lives in May West Soul Home. Yeah, Kimberly. Schedule, a schedule from the New Beverly Cinema that's owned by Quentin Tarantino. What's this? Buttons. Look. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. I'm Rick fucking Dalton. Look at these. Wow. Look at these. It looks like they're all different too. So that was um, a, uh, wow, uh, a famous line in, in the movie. Brad Pitt says that to Leonardo DiCaprio. You're Rick King Dalton. These are very cool. Kimberly, thank you so much. You are just so sweet. I'm glad that we had the opportunity to watch the movie for the first time together. Look at this. March 27th is going to be showing at the New Beverly. And coffee. And coffee and Foxy Brown. Hmm. Oh, thank you so much. I love this stuff. Love, 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 love. This is gonna go. I'm gonna uh, show my uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood collection uh, sometime very soon. And these are wonderful. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Oops. Oh, there's more in here. Oh, look at these. These are, oh, cool. These are from the book of uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. See the movie, read the book. See the movie, read the book. There's, um, wow. You know what's interesting? That is Sharon sitting in J. Sebring's salon, a scene that didn't end up in the movie. So that is inside the salon. So that's a, that's an unseen part of the movie. And, uh, and you will see that at some point, because I was there that day that they were shooting there. I saw her there. I didn't know who she was, but I, I did. And there's Rick Dalton, and there's Cliff. See the movie, read the book. I was there. I saw her, and I'm like, that's that woman that's playing Sharon Tate. I know it was Margot Robbie. Love it. Thank you, Kimberly. All right, so this is from my friend Paul Langshalt. And I know what this is, actually, but it is so spectacular and so special that you are going to die when you see this. Die, I tell you. So you know how I like hair? <laughs> you, know, you know how I like eyelashes, like Dawn Wells, and... Uh, and I have Jane Withers hair. I have a lot of hair and eyelashes and teeth. These are eyelashes. And let's see. You know what? Oh, Marlene, Marlene. My friend Marlene sent me these lovely safe scissors. I've been so I won't hurt myself. Thank you, Marlene. Yes. 
<laughs> These eyelashes are Mrs. Garrett's. They are Charlotte Ray, Charlotte Ray's eyelashes. Charlotte Ray, who was in The Facts of Life. Charlotte Ray is in one of my favorite movies ever, all together in the world, The Hello Down There with Janet Lee and Tony Randall. And, uh, and, and Paul got these for me from the Charlotte Ray estate. And uh, this is note is to authenticate the makeup case. Its contents pictured below, I found in the closet of my mother, Charlotte Ray. So her son, Larry Strauss, is the one who is um, allowing these items to be enjoyed by everyone. And, oh, yes. <laughs> it's Charlotte Ray's nail clippers. This makes everything in my life worth it. <laughs> Hello down there. <laughs> There's something else in here. I wasn't expecting anything else. Paul, you were so kind. So, so kind. Oh my God, look. We got two pairs of eyelashes. Oh, these were used too. I think these are new. So these are new. Those are used. Very cool. Number fours. Number 103s. They're not 99s. <laughs> but, um, wow. Look at that. Charlotte Ray's eyelashes and nail I wonder if there's any of it, like residue. Charlotte Ray residue in there. Hello down there. <laughs> I met her. I met her when she was doing Driving Miss Daisy in Chicago. She's a nice lady. And um, actually I knew somebody who knew her very well growing up. Anyway, it doesn't matter because these are wonderful. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, thank you, Paul. i got to be very careful with these because they will be... Very well taken care of. This came from Canada. Yes, I say Canada. On purpose. I'm from Detroit, I can do that. And, uh, there is no consistent thing that you can use to open a package. Because every package is different. Oh no. Like my worst ever. Oh god, I fucking hate it. Hate it. I can say this now because I do know what this is and it's an eBay thing. You know? I, I love it, but god I freaking hate this packing peanut shit. But I do know what this is. Scream. I hate these things. <laughs> these are, I'm going to do also a um, very soon a, uh, a Colonel Sanders. Show, show you my Kentucky Fried Chicken collection. This is a Colonel Sanders. I think it is a, yeah, it was a salt or pepper shaker. There should be, I think there would be both. Yeah, here's the other one. That's a salt shaker, I think. And this would be pepper because the po the uh, podium's different. So Colonel Sanders salt and pepper shaker. And this is a Colonel Sanders bank. And I had one of these, but it was not I had one of these, but it was not uh, in good shape. So it's a Colonel Sanders bank and a Colonel Sanders salt and pepper shakers, which go well with my Colonel Sanders collection, which you'll be seeing soon. I just got a, a hot pie oven thing. What do you call that thing? It's a it's it's a thing to keep their hot apple pies in, and I've only <laughs> I've never seen one before, and it's massive. You'll see it soon. But there you are, Colonel Sanders, salt and pepper, Colonel Sanders bank, 
And it's in really good shape too. Because the one I had, remember the one I had was all broken down there. This is good, this is good. So, all right. Cool. Now this is from my friend Karen Huntley, and I've been looking at this for a long time. This came in a while ago, and she um, she sent this to us to enjoy, you and me, Troy. And I've been holding it until we do this one of these videos. So lovely Karen is from Australia. In the land of Oz, and um, and she sent. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> Treats, Tim Tams. <laughs> Tim Tams are nice with coffee. What's this? I'm afraid to open this on camera because I don't want to divulge anything. Oh, oh these are these are from laughing. Oh, these are laughing things. Oh, look. Refold to make nine funny pictures. Laughing foldies. Collect the entire set. There's Goldie. Goldie's foldy. I see. That came out of that one, too. Hey, these are cool. I hope you enjoy the Aussie treats. These are very cool. I see, so you wrote laugh in. Okay. Oh, you're so kind. This is really, this is really. So, Tim Tams. I don't think we've ever had these. No, we have not. Wagon Wheels. Wagon Wheel Watusi. Uh, Arnold Tic Tacs. Wow. Twisties. Life's pretty straight without twisties. They're the Tim Tams. The epic Tim Tams. Oh my god. This is Milo, nourishing energy. I say Sega. Oh, it's like a powder, right? I think it's a powder, yeah. Smarties, Cabaret Flake. Okay, that one I know from Britain. Smarties too. I do remember those. I'm paper. Wow. Ooh, what's that? Furry friends. Look at all these treats. Oh my gosh. Good night, Troy. Oh my god, look at that. I think they made all the houses on Coronation Street with carrot berry bars. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, this, I mean, I, really, I am so um, excited to uh, to explore these treats. TikToks. Wagon wheels. I have one more package to open, but... Wagon wheel is coming in. Ooh, look at those. Oh, they fared fairly well. Yeah, they're a little bit worse for wear. Oh, you'll eat it. Oh, don't think I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, I didn't get one. I know. <laughs> Here, how about? That's really interesting. It's got that raspberry in it. Mm. Good. Good. Delicious. Yeah, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a complete mystery for me. Oh, it's not a mystery, actually. What it is is about freaking time. I ordered this back in November. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it was supposed to be here before December. This is a sign... And you know what it says on it? Know what I mean? No? You don't get it? Still? <laughs> this is the sign that was hanging in front of the Amityville Horror House. 
What do you mean you don't know that? You're pretending like I can't hear you. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> I wouldn't know what that was. This is from the Amityville Horror House. I, this was this was the sign that was hanging in front of that house when the murder when the DeFeo murders happened, and uh, I ordered this for here. Even though we call our house something different, we call our house breadsticks for our own reasons. But this, I thought, would be really kind of fun to have. And I ordered it, like I said, back in November. It was supposed to be there for Christmas, and here we are at the end of February. But it's here. I love this. So this is the High Hope sign from the Amityville Horror. So. What a cool collection of things. And thank you so much for, for my friends who are sending me these lovely things. And I want to, Kimberly, so much for, thank you so much for the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood stuff. Katsy, um, I, 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 this is so interesting, these cufflinks. And thank you so much for that. Uh, Karen, for the lovely treats and the laughing uh, things. But the, the waggle, I, I really will totally dive into all of that. At some point soon, uh, Michael, the, this Marie Prevost and um, Roman Polanski, and what is that? That is that's crazy. And thank you, Liz Renee. Um, this is this is nuts. I mean, I love Liz Renee. Thank you for others. My Laura, my friend who who brought us the book and the tiki uh, magnet. Thank you so much, Paul. The eyelashes and clippers from Charlotte Ray. Total like. And Neil for my fabulous t-shirt. I, I love it. Thank you guys so much for your um, support. I love these things. Hopefully everyone will see these things. This one I bought, and this one that we're gonna just have in our backyard or something, I love this. But um, thank you so much everyone for your for your generosity. Thank you so much for your, your time and your attention and just your support. I love it and until next time.